Welcome to Space Sentinels. Germany is working on something mind-blowing called as Wendelstein 7 Accelerator. This science fiction type sounding object is a large-scale fusion device located in Greifswald, Germany. It is a type of nuclear fusion reactor that uses magnetic fields to contain and control a plasma of hydrogen isotopes, which are heated to millions of degrees Celsius. Before moving forward, let's understand the basic difference between nuclear fusion and fission. Nuclear fission is a process in which the nucleus of an atom is split into two or more smaller nuclei, releasing energy in the process. This process occurs naturally in some elements and is harnessed in nuclear reactors to generate electricity. In fission reactors, a neutron collides with a nucleus, causing it to split and release energy in the form of heat, which is then used to produce steam that drives turbines and generates electricity. This process is risky and difficult to control. Nuclear fusion, on the other hand, is less risky and also easy to control. It is a process in which two or more atomic nuclei come together to form a heavier nucleus, releasing energy in the process. This process occurs naturally in stars and is the source of their light and heat. In fusion reactors, hydrogen isotopes are heated to millions of degrees Celsius, causing them to collide and form heavier elements, releasing a large amount of energy. The goal of the Wendelstein 7X is to demonstrate the feasibility of fusion energy as a future source of power by reaching the conditions necessary for fusion to occur and release energy. This cutting-edge technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about energy production, as fusion offers a virtually limitless and environmentally friendly source of energy. The Wendelstein 7X device is based on a five-field period Helios configuration. It consists of a 3.5M tall toroid that includes 50 non-planar and 20 planar superconducting magnetic coils which produce magnetic fields preventing the plasma from hitting the walls of the reactor. The 50 non-planar coils are used to regulate the magnetic field. The desired plasma density is 3 times 10 to the power of 20 particles per cubic meter, while the target plasma temperature ranges between 60 to 130 megakelvins. Essential elements of a fusion reactor include the magnetic coils, cryostat, plasma vessel, diverter and associated heating systems. The superconducting magnets and their enclosure, which has a total mass of 425 metric tons, are housed within an insulated cryostat with a diameter of 16 meters. Inside it, cooling devices supply liquid helium to help cool the parts down to temperatures that enable them to behave superconductively. The coils are capable of conducting up to 12.8 kiloamperes of current, generating a magnetic field of a maximum strength of 3 teslas. This number might sound smaller, but let me give you the comparison. The magnetic field of Earth is 0.00005 tesla. The intricate plasma chamber comprises of 20 components and is configured to fit with the contours of the magnetic field. It is furnished with 254 separate openings for thermal control and study procedures. The entire system consists of five modules, all alike, that were installed in the research facility. The heating system is equipped with 15 megawatts of ECRH, electron cyclotron resonance heating, gyrotrons, enabling efficient and powerful heating of the plasma. The cost of implementing this whole system is estimated to be approximately $1.1 billion. The process starts with the creation of a plasma of hydrogen isotopes, which are then heated to millions of degrees Celsius using various heating systems, including radio frequency heating, neutral beam injection, and ion cyclotron resonance heating. Once the plasma is heated to the necessary temperatures, magnetic fields are used to contain and control it. The magnetic fields are generated by superconducting coils, which are made of special materials that have zero electrical resistance, allowing them to operate at high magnetic fields with minimal energy loss. The plasma is contained inside a vacuum vessel, which helps to maintain the necessary conditions for fusion. The vacuum vessel is made of special materials that can withstand the high temperatures and corrosive conditions inside the reactor. As the plasma is contained and controlled by the magnetic fields, fusion reactions occur, releasing energy in the process. 
the energy released by fusion can then be harnessed to generate electricity, providing a virtually limitless and environmentally friendly source of power. Thanks for watching, hope you find the video interesting. Don't forget like, share and subscribe to Space Sentinels.